Hey lady. <laughs> you know I'm not really good at these things. I never know what to say, but here goes nothing. I know I don't really show my feelings that well. Well, pretty much all the time. But you truly do mean the world to me, and I'm extremely happy you came into my life. You make me a better person. Our time together up to today has been wonderful, and I can't wait to start the next chapter of life with you after today, because I know that there's nothing that we can't do or accomplish together. Your fluffy potato, Corey. <laughs> Mister, it's been 1,431 days since I met you, and I've been drawn to you for each and every one of them. I'm love building this life with you. I can't wait to see where every step will take us along the way. Thank you for being my laughter, <laughs> my guardian, and my love. I love you always, Aaron. Me too. <laughs> about Erin is I quickly learned that she was able to find the joy in any little thing in life. Um, without Erin, I never would have happened to dance on the roof of a parking garage in the middle of a crazy Nebraska blizzard in the snow. Um, pulled over on our way home after midnight just to stare at the stars randomly um, because they were pretty. Um, probably would have never put on a sparkly belt and some cowboy boots and went line dancing. Um, or discovered that in a pinch you can get a wine bottle open with a tennis shoe in the side of your apartment building. Erin's <laughs> joy and positivity are just truly contagious and I think that's reflected with everyone in this room tonight celebrating with her. Um, over the last few years we've been lucky enough to see uh, many people at this table get married and have a really unique bond. Um, I think one of Aaron and Corey's unique bonds, if you couldn't tell from their table decorations, is their mutual love and respect for science. Aaron's love for science is so great that within less than 72 hours of knowing Corey, she thought, why not do a science experiment on him? And I think this experiment allowed them to truly have a deeper understanding of each other um, within just a few hours of knowing each other, really. I think we can say without a doubt, based on the fact that we're here tonight, that this is one science experiment that truly was a success. Okay. <laughs> So let's raise a glass and toast to the new bride and groom, hoping that they continue to find joy in the little things in life for many years to come. Congratulations. I, Corey, take you, Erin, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life.
authentic you, Corey, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. brought her back and she met my wife, she met uh, Ashley and a few of the other wives in the group and after talking to them the next day it, w it was clear how much they clicked. After seeing Corey and her that night it was clear how much Corey cared for her and how real this um, relationship was. How he probably hadn't said it yet, but I could tell they, they loved each other, and that was it. He was gonna he was gonna be with her, and a couple years later, it took him a little bit, but uh, here we are. Yeah, graduate school. I know that slows things down. So, but here we are, and I, I couldn't be happier for for Corey and Aaron, and I, I couldn't be more proud to call you a friend. And Aaron, I'm, I'm so happy to welcome you in our family. And know that if you ever need a ride, we're, we're a phone call away. Uh, we'll be there. So, to, to Corey and Aaron.